type of the uh, MOH kwa sababu government najua ika zinafanyika mm-hmm. na wana support na condoms mm-hmm. na lubricants so bado sasa hii wanakuwa stigma huko mtaani maybe unaishi kwa plot ya mtu akishajua kazi yako ni sex work unaona na kufukuza mm-hmm. na pesa ni pesa tu yeah eh yeah. mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so sex work ikuwe legal mm-hmm. kwa sababu ikikuwa legal unaona kama study kumbuka oh. sex work kuna mabibi za watu kuna was, um, daughters wa watu kuna mama maza watu na watu yanasomwa wanakuja ni mabwana za watu mm. so utapata wewe labda hata bibi yako sex work na haujui arudi anbiwe kaini mali fulani hata hata kasoma hiyo kazi haitaendelea mm. sisi tunafikiria maybe ilikuwa maybe ni watu wanakuwa nafanya ritual mm-hmm. na nyiliza sex workers kwa utapata mtu ameuliwa some body parts haziko unapata mtu hana sehemu zake za siri hana matiti hana ulimi So hizo ilikuwa mwaka wa 2015 2016 na hapo sex workers walikuwa nauliwa sana ina kuru county una What's up guys this is Check TV and my name is Dennis Otieno na tuko hapa na Kuru CBD tunataka kuongea nao wanadada tumejaribu kuongea nao kwa street lakini wametuambia hatuwezi ongea nao they have one office in Nakuru so come up with me as we go around to see if they can talk to us follow me What's up, what's up guys this is Check TV and today tuko hapa tao tumetembea uh, inaitwa Smart Ladies Smart Ladies so tunataka kujua Smart Ladies ni nini challenges zenye wanapitia ni nini up to now na what are the future plans na tumekutana na one of them uh when director ama namna gani Mimi si director mm-hmm. mimi ni co-founder mm-hmm. na pia mimi ni program coordinator Okay tukianza unaweza tuanzia na jina uh-huh. and then uh, mlianzaje this program nini ni come in your mind to start this program Okay Kwa majina naitwa Nekesa Emi na mimi ni pia ni Smart Ladies na co-founder Smart Ladies Before to form Smart Ladies ilikuwa mwaka wa 2015 2016 na hapo sex workers walikuwa nauliwa sana ina Kuru County unapata kila wiki sex worker ameuliwa. Wacha niwarudishe nyuma kidogo. Smart Lady is a sex work led organization. Ni kikundi cha sex workers. Kinasimamiwa na sex workers within the Nakuru County na tuna tuko kwa 8 sub counties. Although Nakuru iko na 11 sub counties. Hizo 8 sub counties ndio ziko busy na biashara. So when it forms Smart Ladies Nakuru sex worker alikuwa anauliwa kila weekend unapata sex worker ameuliwa so tukakuwa ware tukashindwa aje what next na ikabidi sasa si wenyewe tujitokeze tujisimame tusimame tujisimamie si wenyewe kwa sababu tuliona tusipojiongea hakuna watu watatusikiza ndio baadaye tukakuja tukakuwa supported na organization mother organization yetu inaitwa Keswa iko Nairobi in full in Kenya sex workers alliance wakakuja wakatusupport tukafanya maandamano hii na kuru tunataka kujua ni nini perpetrators mkina nani ambao wana target to sex workers tulienda tukasikizwa tufanya maandamano tukaenda paka kwa count commander mwenye alikuwa hizo enzi tukafanya dialogue meeting tuka air out our issues wakatusikiza na wakasema wataingilia kati wajue shida ni nini eventually kuna some perpetrators kadhaa walikuja wakashikwa na kuna wenye wako ndani na cases zingine bado zinaendelea so ndio tukaona umuhimu wa kujiunga pamoja ni tu it registered sasa ni kwa very strong so in short smart ladies tulianza kama kundi tu ilikuwa kama table banking tukifanya in 2012 baadaye ilifika 2015 tukaamua ku register officially as smart ladies kp led organization na tukapa base in nakuru town na nikuulize 
hapa wakati sex worker walikuwa nauliwa hapo ndo muliamua mform ama hii smart lady ilikuwa hapo nyuma kitambo before tuanze kuuliwa smart lady zilikuwa na imeishi kukua ni vile sasa haikuwa na jina sex work imekuwa all like kwa aze za Yesu yeah, yeah, yeah. for long yeah. sasa ni vile sasa tulipe jina ikakuwa kama sasa ikuwe na brand mm-hmm. so before tuanze kuuliwa tulikuwa tusha form kikundi kama ya wamama tu ya kutoa pesa kidogo kidogo chama chama, chama. Yeah. tukusaidiana hapa kule in case labda mtu ameshikwa mnaingia hapo kwa hiyo mka hapo mnatoa mleta mnambail out then anarudisha laisa vile mauaji ilikuja ikakuwa mingi kazidi mm-hmm. ndio tukaiona sasa tuibadilishe kutoka kwa chama to focus on another thing so sisi hapo tuna focus mambo na smart ladies basically ina target mambo na GBV mm-hmm. gender na, based violence gender based violence mm-hmm. tutaki sex worker dhulumiwe na tutaki pia dhulumi wa dhulumu watu tutafanya mambo na advocacy tunaelimisha kujua haki zao haki za kibinadamu tunaelimisha pia kujua haki zao za kiafya like penye wanaweza pata huduma bora wakihitaji penye hakuna stigma na discrimination tunaelimisha jinsi ya kutumia kondom penye watazipata because tunataka mambo na prevention of HIV and STI na tunataka mambo na reinfection isiendele na na nikuulize hapa penye unasema wanauliwa sana hapa mm. hakukua na ile mvurutano huyu amekata kulipa ama nini nilikuwa nafanya aso ukisikia from huko uh, nje nini nilikuwa nafanya wanauliwa sana because lazima kukue something yenye nafanya wanauliwa is either kuelewana okay the cause of wao kuuliwa nitatanishi kwa sababu je elewa vizuri sana kwa sababu mm-hmm. sisi tunafikiria maybe ilikuwa maybe ni watu wanakuwa nafanya ritual mm-hmm. na niliza sex workers kwa utapata mtu ameuliwa some body parts haziko unapata mtu hana sehemu zake za siri hana matiti hana ulimi so hizo vitu ukiangalia hizo vitu kama haziko kwa mwili wa mtu na ameuliwa utapata maybe kuna ushirikina fulani mtu alikwenda kufanya nini kufanya although pia mambo na kutolipwa kwa inatokea ama mtu amelipa na amekunyang'anya tena kwa inatokea inakuwa mvugano ama vile mlielewana na yeye sio hivyo so hiyo pia inachangia sana kwa mambo na violence napata mnapigana na katika kupigana mmoja anaweza kuliwa mm. na up to now unapata mtu let's say unajua tulijaribu kuongea na one of our sisters pale chini mm. akasema hawezi tuongea na sisi kabisa kabisa tukuje kwa office hata tukua tunajua smart lady iko kabisa assistant ah smart lady yes. uh, one of the our sisters hapo nje okay. tulijaribu kuongea na watu pige na story akatuambia mimi saa hizi hatuwezi ongea na wewe. So what I will do, let me direct you to the office. Yes. Ndio tukakuja kwa ofisi. So hapa kwa ofisi huwa mnawa defend kivipi? Let's say wameshikwa ndo mnawa bail ama kwenye huko kendo uko kwa ground kuongea na wasichana one thing mm-hmm. hata kuongelesha mm-hmm. hata kurisa hapa kwa sababu hajua wewe ni nani, wewe umetoka wapi. So mara nyingi wana refer mtu kwa ofisi ndio wewe ukuje ujieleze wewe ni nani unataka nini. Mm-hmm. Na tukiona ni mambo mazuri yenye inawafa. Tutawaambia wafanye nini? Wawasikize. Kwa sababu utapata mtu kama wewe utakuja umuongeleshe kumbe unamtumia, unataka kumtumia vibaya. Mm-hmm. Na mara mingi hayuko empowered, hajui hiyo video yake, video unachukua mapicha ama vile anaongea ni at your own benefit. Mm-hmm. So ndio tukua smart ladies tujiunge hivi, tulikuja tukajieka pamoja tukaanza kuwafundisha. Sex worker wana benefit na at least tuna peleka trainings mm-hmm. tunafanyia sensitization size wanajua haki zao mm-hmm. haki za kibinadamu kwa jumla sika kitambo mtu angeenda kuripoti polisi anaogopa kuripoti atashindwa atakuwa stigma wewe unafanya kazi gani kwa nini unafanya nini mm-hmm. unafanya hiyo kazi but with the good rapport ya tumekuwa nao na Nakuru county law enforcers mm-hmm. like police station zote within Nakuru na police wa county tumekaa tumefanya dialogue tumesikizana tumetaka kujua shida iko wapi wametue wakatue okay wametuelekeza penye tufai kufanya nini kukanyaga na kama kuna shida kwa wanatuambia mm-hmm. wasichana wenyu wamefanya abcd ama penye wanaelekea si pazuri tuwakataze mm-hmm. kwa tunawaita tunaongelesha na hata mtoto akipiga ripoti polisi atakusema kama ni mwanaume ameibiwa ama amedhulumiwa na sex worker 
police wana mtume hapa kwa ofisi ya smart ladies because wanajua at least tunajua oh, like sex workers wa kwa within mm-hmm. tunaweza trace mtu mwenye amefanya makosa na patikane na yeah. upande uh-huh. Uh-huh. upande ya kushikwa uh-huh. kitambo yes walikuwa wanashikwa kabisa wasana walikuwa wanakuwa harassed in town but since tufanye meetings tukafanya sensitization na mapolisi mm-hmm. saa hizi naweza kuambia ni 0% sex workers hawashikwi in town unless mtu ameshikwa kama amefanya mambo na criminal kwa sababu sex work na criminal cases za crime haziambatani mm-hmm. kama amefanya makosa atashikwa kama ame kuna maybe amelewa na tukanani kwa streets atashikwa lakini like, kama amesimama tu anafanya kazi yake ya kawaida sex workers hawashikwi na hapo tunaambia viongozi wetu na serikali yetu asante kwa kutusikiza na ukiingilia tukiongelea mambo ya polisi ni kuna time niliona mlikuwa mmepeleka mattresses kwa hizi masels mm. uh, ni, ni organization ama kuna mtu alikuwa amewafanda okay smart ladies mm. kila 17th december mm. kwa tunaadhimisha siku ya naona international mm. days to end sex against nini Inoni International Days to End Violence Against Sex Workers kwa inafanyika kila mwaka December 17th. Mm-hmm. So akatoa tukipeleka pia ilikuwa siku kama ya hii ya December 17th. Mm-hmm. Kueleza wale authority wajue sex workers wako mm-hmm. na tunataka ku end violence katika sex workers. Ndio tuko na donors kwa tuna maybe unaandika proposal kipata mm-hmm. funds mm-hmm. kuna pesa kidogo na bajetia mm-hmm. vitu kama hizo so tukua na bajeti ya kwenda kutembelea kituo cha polisi mm-hmm. kusafisha ndio sasa sex workers ndio na clients ndio na mnasafisha kabisa yes mm-hmm. sex workers na clients wao wana Chicago wanalala kule mm-hmm. so tukaona lazima tusafishe police station ikuwe safi mm-hmm. tukawapelekea ndo kitabu unajua watu walikuwa nakojodiaga ndo mm-hmm. like squeeze me upgrade kuna mpaka shower kuna washrooms so tukapeleka ndo at least kusaidia kushota maji mm-hmm. ama watu wa kutumikia atakaa ni kujoa kaona watu wakishikwa wanalala kwa floor kwa simiti mm-hmm. na pia kwa afya ya binadamu kawaida si vizuri kwa sababu kuna ile baridi nini tukaona tu donate mpaka mattresses mhm kwa donate mattress mbizi yake kwa sale ndio hata mtu ukishikwa ndio atakao amefanya makosa ukwe comfortable kidogo yeah, jupale nyewe ni pata mimi kuna siku niliweko ndani hapo jamani mm-hmm. ai baridi kwanza <laughs> na pia mm-hmm. kama smart ladies ukizunguka like police station za within nakuru mm-hmm. utaona curtains zilizoko kwa dirisha ni za smart ladies hiyo mm. njia moja ya kujua so so this curtains muna, ni project mmeanza kando ya kushona na kuuza nini hatuuzi mm-hmm. tuna donate for free for free mm-hmm. na tunaweka mungu tunaweka hapo tuna label donated by smart ladies mm-hmm. kwa sababu gani tumekuwa tukifanyia sensitization na polisi na unajua polisi wanda transfer mm, kila wakati wageni wanakuja wageni wanakuja uh-huh. sasa so, unajua mgeni akikuja kwa hiyo office na aone hiyo kata ni donated by smart ladies uh-huh. atakuwa interested kutaka kujua uh-huh. kwa these smart ladies unaona sasa tutakuwa na njia rahisi ya kumfikia uh-huh. na atakuwa na interest kujua sisi ni kina nani hiyo uh-huh. njia moja like ya kuji market ama kujulikana uh-huh. penye tuko yes na sasa hapa kwa na pale nje watu wakiwa ground mm. ni njia gani mnatumiaga unajua pia magonjwa ni mingi ni njia gani mnaambiaga our sisters pale kwa ground uh, the way to protect themselves with the help of the uh, MOH mm-hmm. kwa sababu government tunajua i kazi nafanyika mm-hmm. na wana to support na condoms mm-hmm. na lubricants so sisi tukienda kwa ground kwa tunaelimisha wasichana jinsi ya kutumia condom mm-hmm. proper use of condom si usia tunampe tunaweza kupatia na ujuu kutumia lazima nifanyie demonstration mm-hmm. na au rudie nione umejua kutumia vizuri so kwa tunaelezea au wasifanye ngono bila nini bila kutumia kinga atumie condom na condom anajua penye zinapatikana although saa hizi kuna shida ya condoms hata kwa serikali yote Kenya mzima saa hizi hakuna condoms na hii bado tunajaribu juu chini hata kwa enda paka PGA tuko medical mm-hmm juzi tumeenda kwa ofisi ya DC huko tukapewa zingine tuna make sure at least tuma distribute ya mtu asifa kwa senini asikose condoms so tunaambia hii condom inazuia mambo mingi sana mm-hmm. inazuia kupata virus vya HIV inazuia kupata hizi STIs na gonorrhea kuna syphilis inazuia pia kupata unplanned ama unwanted pregnancy pia njia moja upangaji uzazi mm-hmm. so no condom no sex ndio slogan 
na kuna watu bana wanakuja wana offer some good money wanasema uh, tufanye without condom na kuna kuna hizo cases zimekuwa hizo cases kwa zikosi mm-hmm. sasa unaona oh, miss nimekupa information mm-hmm. nimekuelimisha unajua umhimu wa kutumia condom na ubaya kutotumia usipotumia condom madhari nitakupata mm-hmm. so mimi nimekupa tie information sasa hiyo information nimekupatia wewe mwenyewe tutaamua vitu utafanya nini mm-hmm. utaitumia kwa sababu sitakuwa na wewe kila wakati hapo hivyo ndio hata mwingine mimi unaweza mpatia condom na kusema tutumie condom so ni juu yako kujikinga mwili yako na afya yako ndio client atakuja akwambia labda nipe nitapata 1000 tutatumia condom wewe ukaingia uangalie shida yuko nayo useme ah wacha tu nimfanye hivyo kwa sababu mtenda hospitali pewa dawa yenye najiita pep kuna yenye huwa anafanya hivyo hii dawa inaitwa pep ni ile uki have unprotected sex na mtu mwenye juu hali yake ama condom imebust ama umekuwa umerepiwa unaenda hospitali within 72 hours but naambia mtu the earlier the better utapimwa kama hauna virusi vya HIV utapewa dawa ndio ule mtu kama alikuwa na virusi hata kuambukiza utatumia dawa for 28 days so kuna mmoja ata misuse mm-hmm. tunasema ah wacha niende bila condom mtenda hosi nipewe nini mm-hmm. nipewe dawa ndanganyane ilikuwa ni condom bust so kuna wenye wanafanya hivyo na na naona mna work na brand brand kubwa kubwa kama FH360 Okay FHI 360 walikuwa donors wetu for the two years back mm-hmm. 2021 na 2020 na 2021 walitufund mm-hmm. waliona kazi tunafanya kwa community ni kazi mzuri sana waka to approach wakasema tunaweza fanya nao kazi pamoja na kuweza kutufund for two years kufanya mambo na kuzuia violence ama kuelimisha wasichana na ma stakeholders stakeholders kama police mada kuhusu nurses sex worker special stakeholder hata community ili wajue sex work iko na waache mambo na dhulma na unyanyapa na tukafanya nao for two years at the end of two years hata wakatukognize na wakatupatia certificate of appreciation because fans zenye walitupatia waliona tulizitumia vizuri vile natakikana na reporting kila kitu ikakuwa iko sawa So smart ladies is inajulikana ni organization kubwa. Na naona kuna award nyingine hapo pia Keswa. Keswa unaweza tuambia about Keswa? So hii ni award tulipewa tukianza program. Keswa in, in full ni Kenya Sex Workers Alliance. Mm-hmm. Au ndio mother organization yetu hapo Nairobi. Mm-hmm. So tulipokuwa tunaanza mambo na program. Mm-hmm. So kulikuwa na tunaona inajiita tokelezea award. Mm-hmm. So hii ilikuwa ina happen wapi? Nairobi. Nairobi. Mm-hmm. So sisi tuli yani we are the best tulitokelezea na tukashine. Eh. Hey. We are new tukaingia kwa program kulikuwa competition ama yes. nyinyi pekeni tu. Kulikuwa eh Kenya kuna sex work organization mingi sana. So sisi si pekee tu tuko wengi. Mm-hmm. But sasa sisi ndio tuli win mm-hmm. this award upcoming sex workers led group. Mm-hmm. Ni mingi zikuwa zina sasa unajua sasa ni mingi zikuwa zimeanza mm-hmm. but wana angalia ile yiko okay. more active mm-hmm. inafanya kazi tukapewa mm-hmm. itokelezea mm-hmm. award. Eh. Na wewe umejaza hapa team mtu wangu. Hiyo nayo ni gani? Then he hii pia ni a, award tulipewa na keswa bado mm-hmm. inajiita utumishi. Mm-hmm. Award. So hii mliwin wapi? Hii bado tuliwin Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Na hii mm-hmm. bado ilikuwa inashindaniwa na sex workers organization mingi sana na sasa ilikuwa by voting. So as smart ladies within the country tulipata votes mingi. Mhm. Shinda wengine. Sasa hata wengine wafanye kazi nzuri, mm-hmm. pia wanafanya kazi nzuri yenye inatakika. Inahitajika mm-hmm. but lazima kuwe na mshindi. Mm, lazima kuwe na mshindi. Yes. Mm-hmm. So we, we want this one. Hii mtumishi. Mm-hmm. Tunatumikia wananchi. Na hiyo ingine. Hii bado ingine ni ya FHI 360. Mhm. Ili imeandikwa in recognition of your outstanding work in inter, in alternative dispute resolution uh-huh. okay alternative dispute resolution i award tulipata kwa sababu ya nini uh-huh. sisi kama smart ladies uh-huh. kwa tunafanya dispute resolution inamaanisha kuna cases mingi si kila cases tunapeleka polisi kuripoti ama yende kotini kuna cases zingine we were trained kuna cases zingine tunaweza kaa hapa mm-hmm. tukae round table to solve tukiwa hapa sababu unapata cases mingi ziko kotini sasa so, ina take long 
mm. na si kesi nyenge ka mm. so kwa hii tuli win kwa sababu kesi mingi tumekuwa tukisolvia hapa kwa ofisi na ita mwenye amekosewa na mwenye ameshtakiana tuna wanakaa wanasikizana mm-hmm. like lazima kila partner ifanye nini kila party iridhike na juzi ndio tuli solve cases mingi ndio tukapata hiyo award na, na kuna hii organization naona inaitwa the open society initiative for eastern africa hii ni gani open society ni dona mm-hmm. na itaga osea mm-hmm. wamekoa kitu fund since 2016 Mm. Eh yeah, ndio walikuwa founders wetu wa kwanza kama mm-hmm. smart ladies mm-hmm. na ndio tunaendelea nao mpaka size. Mm-hmm. Eh hao ni dona. Na sasa ndio mtu wa join mna mnaangaliaga qualification gani ndio ama mtu anakujaga tu from now ya na join. Smart ladies one thing we don't recruit sex workers. Mm-hmm. What we do smart ladies tuko na 40 trained paralegals. Nikisema hiyo inamaanisha kwa kila hot spots Mm-hmm. penye wasiana wanabangaizia for example ni zatumia hii ni penye wasiana wanategea tunatafuta msichana mmoja hapo mm-hmm. mwenye atasimamia wale wengine na hao wenyewe ndio wanachagua mtu mwenye wanaamini mm-hmm. so msichana mmoja tukachagua hivyo kadhaa forty to what wa train kwa so hawa ni wenye wana let's say hii area msichana mmoja mnamchukua yes. mwenye mm-hmm. anajua wote yes mhm tukachukua wakafika forty tulikuwa na hiyo budget ya forty wakakuwa trained kama paralegals paralegals ni wale watu wenye wanaweza kuelekeza at least mm-hmm. wanajua vipengele kadhaa za sheria na pia wanaweza kuelekeza kufuata channel hii inatakikana mm-hmm. so tukawa train kwa hiyo hotspot penye iko huyo anajua sana wote ni wako hapo na kukuwa na msana mgeni amekuja kwa tamspot wanajua huyu sio hapo ni mge huyu ni mgeni na mgeni akikuja kwa na letu hapa kwa ofisi lazima tujue ametoka wapi amekuja kufanya nini mm-hmm. cause wengine utapata msana amefanya makosa tauni nyame alikuwa anaishi mm-hmm. ama anajafanya makosa amekuja hapa amekuja ameiba mm-hmm. usiku ametoroka ameenda sasa unaona naachia wale wenye wako shida mm-hmm. so lazima tujue we ni nani umetoka wapi umekuja kufanya nini but kama sex workers wa smart ladies hakuna registration fee yoyote wana register kwa smart ladies Smart ladies sa dona fund tunajitafutia pesa. Wasichana kupata pesa zao ni zao. Hatuitishi hata shilingi 10 au shilingi 1. Au ni beneficiary wetu. Sisi tupata pesa mm-hmm. ni yao. Oh, oh. Eh, so, wana so, benefit. Donors. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Lakini yao kuna kitu wana contribute kwa nothing. Contribute hapa ni yao kuwa au sa kwa beneficiaries tu kwa sex okay. workers. Okay. Yes. Na kuna i, kuna event zenye mmefanya kama kwenda ma children some ku donate some food ama vitu kama hizo clothes sisi hatudeal na events kama hizo za kwenda children's home kwa sababu hata hiyo kuna watu wengi wanafanya hizo organization kuna wengi wana deal na ma children's home mm-hmm. we are sex, sex workers led organization na deal tuna sex workers mm-hmm. so events zenye kwa tunafanya like yenye tulifanya latest ni kwa ya 8th march mm-hmm. ni inter- commemoration of international women women's day Mm-hmm. Inakwaga tarehe nane mwezi wa tatu Hapo ndio kwa tuna waita tunaenda kama kama understand kwa nyao garden tunaenda huko tunasikiza speeches na the end tunapata kama lunch ama na transport na pia wanapata mafunzo husu kuna mafunzo mengi kwa inaendelea mm-hmm. na afya afya kwa ya mzazi ya mama na pia kwa tunawarifa mm-hmm kama smart lady hapa kwa tufanyi mambo ya matibabu nimekwambia tunafanya tu mambo na advocacy on gender based violence mm-hmm. so msichana anaweza kuja hapa aseme maybe aje skip au anataka kupimwa mm-hmm. kuna other implementing partners hizo ni organization there's not tena huduma kwa sex workers so akikuja hapa tunamwandikia referral tunamtuma kwenda kutupata hiyo huduma na huduma atapewa bure bila malipo okay yes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Na unajua gavana pia alikuwa anasema sex working inafaa kukuwa legal. Mm. Mm. Si sex work sex work ikuwe legal kwa mm-hmm. sababu ikikuwa legal unaona kama watu wapikipiki so wametengwa ile stage. Mm-hmm. Sasa utapata labda sasa hawa taambiwa ndio mkae kama kiwanja ya study. Kumbuka oh. sex work kuna mabibi za watu, kuna daughters wa watu, kuna mama za watu na transfer ni wanakuja ni mabwana za watu mm. so utapata wewe labda hata bibi yako ni sex worker na haujui arudi ambiwe kaeni mali fulani hata 
hata customer hiyo kazi haitaendelea mm. sisi tunye tunataka tunataka ikuwe decriminalized mm-hmm. decriminalized ni kumaanisha kuna zile vipengele kadhaa za zinahinda mm-hmm. kazi ya sex work kufanyika ni unaona maybe polisi wanakushika wanasema mm-hmm. umekupitanga tanga mm-hmm. loitering unashtakiwa na makosa kama hiyo tunataka sasa hizo vipengele kadhaa ndio zitolewe but hatutaki kuwe legalized na challenges gani ni upitia Asa, asa smart lady sasa smart lady smart lady live alone the our sisters as office yes challenge za tunapitia tu kama kwa ofisi mm-hmm. ni challenge zenye wale wengine wanapitia tu kama kwa ofisi nikiongea kama ofisi mm-hmm. tusema labda saa nyingine tunakosa funds mm-hmm. unaweza pata ndio tuko na donors lakini like fund imeisha ofisi mm-hmm. nafuu lipe tu tunaona tuko na staffs wanafaa ipwe Mm-hmm. Eh smart lady si kibanda ni ofisi unyo na fast smart lady ni kiosk. Hebu waambie smart lady ni nini? Unajua watu wanaona tu smart lady hapa nje wana. Hebu waambie smart lady ni nini? Smart lady is a well established office ambayo iko na director, iko na program coordinator, iko na two advocacy officers, iko na finance officer na iko na M&E na hao volunteers wenye tumekwa sema au 40 trained paralegals na tuko na ofisi mzuri sana tuko na auditorium kuna wifi kuja hey. smart ladies kuna chai kabisa haya kuna tuko na safe space safe space ni room yetu meka carpet na pillows mm-hmm. in case msichana ameshinda huko kwa hot spot labda kwa ba amekesha hajapata pesa na hataki kwenda nyumbani mm-hmm. na amechoka anasikia kulala atakuja kwa hii safe space atalala akitosheka usingizi kisha arudi afanye nini tunaweza wazunguka tukiona hizo eh, hizo ofisi zenu nini ta, tukimaliza hapa tukimaliza hapa tawazungusha muone ofisi zetu uh-huh. vile ziko uh-huh. eh, ni ofisi so, natambulika so unasema challenges zenye wale wanapitia is the same na zenye mnapitia tu ni same tu kwa sababu uh-huh. unaona sasa uh-huh. mtu atakuja hapa aone smart ladies ukianza kumuelezea what we do uh-huh. kuna mmoja atanza ku judge vibaya uh-huh. That's why we talk kwa tunaongea ndio mm-hmm. mimi kama sitajipend stigma kwa nini wewe niko bali unipatie stigma so tunafun, at least tunataka self esteem ya smart lady sikuwe juu mm-hmm. because mambo na stigma kupewa kwa sababu kuna bado sasa hii wanakuwa stigma huko mtaani maybe unaishi kwa plot ya mtu akishajua kazi yako ni sex work unaona nakufukuza mm-hmm. na pesa ni pesa tu yeah. eh eh ufanyi sex work kwa plot yake ama kwa nyumba yake ama kwa bwana yake ama nini au unaenda kufanyia mambo yako wapi kule nje. Challenges ziko kukosa pesa. Sasa wengine wanawataja wana pesa. Na sasa wengine hata wanaume pia mambo na wewe unapiga madem. Utapata mm. jamaa ametumia dem pesa kwa simu, amerudi ame reverse. Mwingine amekupa pesa, anakunyang'anya. Ebu e, 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 kidogo. Okay, let's go for a short break. We'll be right back. Thank you.